we're making now, and hopefully with Walter Hitch's leadership, we can see it through and get other legislators to follow his wonderful example. Morning. Morning. Good afternoon. I'm joined here by my colleague and government legislator Seal Bino, who's also here with you today in solidarity for community yeah. 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 Uh, No one, no one here doesn't want to see jobs for our community. No one here doesn't want to see our communities move forward in economic development. But the fact remains that when we're getting ready to invest over the phases of this project, close to half a billion dollars, that this community, whether it's Unidale or East Meadow, should not be left behind. And today is about making sure the voices of Unidale are not left behind. When you drive down Unidale Avenue, and now you're gonna be driving into a brand new Coliseum, you shouldn't see a disparity in economic development. That's right. You should see a community that basically has the same level of passion and care that the people of Unidale embody should be represented on their main streets and their downtowns. So today, I stand proud to stand with these folks to make sure that Unidale gets what it deserves, which is a community benefits agreement which spells out that the facades and the signage the jobs for our young people, to make sure that our, the ills of, of zombie homes or housing in our communities is addressed. And what the folks here are asking for is no different. Whoop. Okay, a little different. <laughs> Drop the mic there. Sorry about that. It is no different than what, Renis, I'm sorry, what Far City Ratner did in Brooklyn. Yes, it's no right. different than what happens across this entire country. That's right. Community yeah. benefits agreements are just that. They benefit the community that is directly impacted yeah. Yeah. by this project. And there is no community, none in this county, that's going to be greatly impacted by what happens at the Coliseum. The traffic, the impact possibly on the schools, the water, the pollution. It all has an impact. There is no reason why they shouldn't get some type of benefit from all of that happening in their community. So folks, stand strong. Because when we go into these doors, we're going in as one. And we're not leaving until we get what we deserve. And what we deserve is a community benefits agreement, which will allow us to move our community forward and support. Obviously, we want to support the jobs that are going to be created, because those jobs are going to benefit you and the people but we want to make sure it supports the economic development and the livelihood of people as well. And right now, the, the proposal that's before us does not do that. It falls on the face of it of being able to do that. And we've been in discussions now for the last 10 days to try to get it. And I got to tell you, we have gotten nowhere in those last 10 days. And we are no different than where we were two weeks ago than where we are today. And to me, that is a disgrace that they're just basically just gonna dismiss the concerns of hundreds of people are here, thousands that live in Unidale and East Meadow and abroad, and not address their concerns. So folks, stay strong. Be you strong. You have the support, you you have strong. The you have the support of the legislature, at least on the minority side. We're gonna support you today. We're gonna to continue to fight. We're gonna look forward to taking our fight into that chambers. And on top of it, Legislative Salah voted with us, this is a point of clarification, he voted with us on the vote uh, in the committee. Um, but we're going to bring out a lot of questions today. A lot of questions about the financing of this deal, a lot of questions about the community benefits agreement. The bottom line is, we won't leave, we won't rest, we won't be voting yes, just because we want to say yes. We understand the benefits of the project, but it takes conviction and it takes strength to stand up for what you believe in. And what we believe in today is a community benefits agreement which is not apparent upon this proposal. So that being said, I want to give the floor over to Legislator Bino, who's been fighting with us. She has a, she took on a fight with the casino project in Westbury. And 
another matter of fact, this lease, while we're changing the lease to include EB-5 financing, which many people don't even know what that is, but while we're changing that proposal, we should also make sure we change it to make sure there's no casino in there as well. Yeah, Why the, we should change the proposal to make sure that there are ingredients for our community in regards to the signage and facades throughout our community. The bottom line is, I will not accept anyone in here or anyone in Unidale being left behind. And that's what this is about today, getting what we deserve. Yes. So thank you for being here today. I support the Community Benefits Agreement. I support this because you cannot have a platform that supports and encourages economic development and community development and not have an agreement by an entity that will be coming into the area and require that they be good neighbors. It, it is to me unresponsible and I find it to be downright immoral for uh, the administration to allow Ratner to come here and not do right by the Uniondale community. So I stand with you today and in unity and in solidarity and I will be voting no. Yeah. Just one more thing, and please don't, don't misread, uh, I have to run to Hempstead for another event real quick, but don't misread me leaving as any less support for uh, what we're trying to do today. I heard some folks talk about East Garden City. Yeah, I, heard, yeah, I heard somebody say oh, East Garden City. Hey, hey, no, 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 Unidale, folks. So that being said, that's another proposal which we should put on the steps of the developer to make sure that whether they build the Coliseum, whether you want to build it uh, uh, to be nice, to be like Barclays or whatever, the bottom line is it should be called Unidale. Unidale. Three miles 
right here from the seat of right. yes, I am proud to stand in such distinguished company with those that refuse to lay down, but those that choose to stand up and fight. Give yourself a round of applause, you yeah. Today might just be round one, but we are in this for a TKO. And I am glad to stand here with you today because justice will be heard and our voices will be raised and justice will be lifted on the Hamlet Call Union Dale. Thank you. TKO! 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 Ho ho! Hey hey! We want the CBA! Ho ho! Right. It's a civil right that's incredibly important to our 